We have a fun target training workout for you today for the shoulders and the arms. Lisa and Barkley and I have put together some exercises today, and we're starting off with the bicep curl and the shoulder press. Let's get started. Starting off with the basic form, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, abs tight, curling the weight up, and pressing up, shoulder press, and return to the starting position. Good. Exhale as you do the shoulder press. Keep the abs tight. This is an excellent exercise for the biceps and the delts. We're gonna do a set of 15 repetitions and then move on to our next exercise. Variety is important when you're weight training. Not only do you want to do a variety of different exercises, but also do a variety of different sports. Keep your fitness, keep it at fun is important. Keep it up, press it up. We'll do five more. Good. Feel the weight. Nice and slow, getting the complete range of motion. Two. And last one. Okay, now let's put down our weight in our left hand and we're going to do an exercise from the side head of the deltoid called the side raise. Putting our left hand on the hip, palm facing the body and bringing it up to the side for one. And two. This feels great. Three. Barkley looks good. Lisa up there is pumped. Woo, this feels awesome. Let's go. Ten more. We're here in Nassau in the Bahamas, getting a suntan, getting healthy, staying fit. Let's go five more. Exhale. Three, two, and one. Okay. Now let's do our left arm. And ready, up for one, and down. Two, down, three, down. This is a terrific exercise for adding muscularity to the side, out of the shoulder. And up, to 10 more. Nice and slow, holding it for a beat at the top. Tipping the thumb down at the top of the movement. Nice and slow, all together now. And up, down, let's do five more. Like you're tipping, pouring water out of the pitcher, your thumb is tipping down. Three, two, and one. Great. Okay, now we're moving on to the concentration curl. Dropping down on the weight a little bit. Down on the left knee, putting the right elbow on the inside of the right knee. Letting the arm hang, and curling the weight up for one and down. Up two. Supinating the wrist at the top, turning your pinky in, squeezing and flexing the bicep muscle. Up four. Exhale, five. Six. What's nice about these exercises is you don't need a lot of fancy equipment. You can do everything with dumbbells and small hand weights. So there's no excuses not to exercise. And up down. Five more. Down. Four. Three. Again, we're working on the bicep muscle right here. Two. And one. Now we'll switch sides. Rotate to the left. And curling it up for one. And down. Two. Down. Three. Four. Remember, the key to a successful exercise program is consistency. Make your workouts fun and exciting. Do a variety of different exercises. Play a variety of different sports. Train with different friends. That way you'll be fit for life. Today's workout is all about triceps. Lisa and I are going to be starting off with the lying tricep extensions using the easy curl bar. You ready? Yes. If I'm going to look like you after this workout, Kiana, I am ready. <laughs> Flattery gets you everywhere. <laughs> 
Okay, notice here her hand position. She's got her thumbs on the same size as her fingers, putting more of the emphasis on the triceps, lowering the weight slowly, extending up for one. Perfect, got it? Got it. And it really helps too when I keep my elbows in for better isolation of the tricep muscle. Good point. Let's go now. This is our warm-up set. She's got the small of her back pressed into the bench, exhaling as she exerts the weight. Good. And this is a great exercise for me, too, because my triceps are so weak. It's great for strengthening. It also helps in different sports, too, to have strong triceps. I got gotcha. you. In yeah. spotters, you're right here, helping your partner just a little bit without taking the weight away from them. It's also helping for energy when I exhale kind of exertion. Great. Perfect form, Lisa. Thanks. Can you get five more? I think I can get about five more in. Okay, four, counting them down. Three, nice and slow, being careful not to hit yourself in the forehead. Two. It also helps for great isolation when I pause at the end and really squeeze that tricep muscle. Got it. Got it? Okay. I'll do a different variation of the same exercise using dumbbells. Laying flat on the bench, feet up. Yeah, that would be great. Elbows high, extend for one. I'm noticing how you're really focusing on keeping those elbows in so that when you're at the exertion exercise, you're really squeezing that tricep muscle. Look at that. I like to flex it too and hold it for a beat at the top. You can, I've, I've noticed you've always been very toned in your upper body, but I've really noticed that you've really built your muscle in your upper body. Now, are you, how many times are you working out your triceps? I oh, train wait. my triceps one to two times per week. Um, I, like Lisa said, I am trying to put on a little more muscle, so I train heavier. I find that works best for me. I find when I use lighter weights, I have leaner arms. Okay, so if I want to build a little bit of muscle in those triceps, just go up a little bit in weight, right? Right. Okay, put your thumbs on the other side. There you go. Got it? Yes. Yeah, I need you here. <laughs> Remind me of those little things that count. Makes a difference, though. You can feel it a lot more. Yeah, I notice too when I train alone, especially for triceps, that I often uh, do a lot less than I do when I have a trainer with me. Well, that's a good point. When you have a personal trainer or a training partner, they can push you a little more and motivate you to get that extra step that makes all the difference. How many more do I have to go here? Five more. Five more. You look great. Four. I spot you. Okay. Up three. Come on, Lisa. Push it two. And one. One, last one. Excellent. Great. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Now I'm going to move up and wait a little bit with the 10 pounds. So is that how you usually start off counted? Do you start with a lower weight and then move up one? Right. I do a warm-up set before I, you know, to warm up my muscles. And then I increase the weight. So you basically start off with, with 8 pounds and move to 10 or? Um, 5 or 8. 5 or 8. Move up. So then if you were doing a third set, would you move up one more? I might go up to 12. 12? Yeah, see as she, as she goes up in the exertion, the end of the extension, how she flexes that muscle right there. Look at that. Great form. Thanks. How many more are you going to try to do? I'll do two here? more. Two more? Okay, keep going. You're doing great. And one more. One. Okay. Way to go. Okay. Our next exercise is the uh, ropey, ropey pulleys. Ropey pulleys. <laughs> My favorite exercise. Okay. Okay. I need a little spot on this. I'll help you. Notice her knees are slightly bent to protect the lower back. This tiny waist here, keeping the elbows tight. And I find when I do this, I can really isolate the muscle when I pull the rope out to the very end. Good. When she, by locking out the elbows, keeping the elbows tight, she's flexing the upper area of the triceps. Holding it for a beat. Come on, flex it. Good, Lisa. Let's go three, two. Notice she's not leaning over. She's keeping her back straight. One more. Come keeping on. Keeping those elbows in. Good. Excellent. Okay. Good form. Thanks. Okay. Kiana's turn. Okay, how many are we going to try and do here? I'll do uh, ten. Ten? Noticing how you're really pausing when you come down, squeezing that tricep muscle. 
You're keeping those elbows in. I like the rope because you can split your wrists farther out uh -huh. and flex the triceps further. You know, that's true. I find that with this exercise, this is the most effective for my triceps. I can really feel it. Do five more. Five more. Keep going. Good uh, form. Four. She's keeping those Three. elbows in. She's exhaling for Two. more energy. And Last one. One. Woo. Way to go. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Now, this is a pretty good weight for us. Um, but depending on the gym that you train at, sometimes the weight increments um, jump a little higher, so we're keeping this weight the same. Now this time I'm taking a little bit wider of stance for more balance because my triceps are getting a little tired. That's a good point. <laughs> good. Stabilize yourself. Never sacrificing form for the weight. Right. Good. I'd rather I'd rather have my form right and less weight. Good. Let's go now. I got you. Got me. We're getting an entire tricep workout in today. It doesn't take much time. Come on, five more. Let's go. I'm gonna push her today. I gotta have you here. <laughs> I'm gonna build some muscle. Okay. Three. Two Your more. arms look fantastic. Two and one. Good, Lisa. Okay. okay. Now, what sports do you play? Well, you know, I don't, I don't really participate a lot in recreational sports, mm -hmm. but I like to have just an overall, you know, balance of tone and definition in my body. And I find I do, I do do some recreational swimming. So when I do the swimming, I find that as I work my triceps. It just, it helps me to swim a little bit longer, get more of that cardiovascular activity. Keep going. Uh, Woo. Way to go. Okay. Woo. Okay, now we're going to move on to the bench dip. I'll show you a slight variation of the basic dip. It's with a closed fist and put a weight on the lap to make it a little bit harder. Knees over the ankles, elbows going back, down and up for one. You know, I find this is a great exercise for someone, too, who has a little bit weaker of a tricep muscle because you're, you're lifting your own body weight. So you know when you can do 12 of these, you have strong, strong triceps. That's right. Great form. Your elbows are in. Shoulder width apart. How many more are you going to try and do here? Do five more. Five more. By locking out your elbows, you're working more of the upper tricep. This exercise is great because you can do it anywhere in the gym or at home. On a chair, two, great job, and one. Way to go. What's the weight? <laughs> I know. Thanks. Lying extensions are great for firming the back of the arm. Holding the dumbbells with a hammer grip makes it more comfortable on the wrists. Using the rope on the pulling machine is awesome for toning the back of the arm. Do three to four sets, ten to fifteen reps. Let's go for a tricep dip. Locking out the elbows isolates the upper tricep area. We're starting off our superset with the flat bench press for the overall chest area. Today, Lisa and I will be supersetting our chest and our back. We're training opposing muscle groups. How's that feel? Feels great. You know, Kiana, normally I would start off and work out with 10 pounds and then move to 15, but I thought I would increase the weight. That's good. One week, train lightly with higher repetitions. The next week, shock your muscles into shape and train heavier. Good, Lisa. Perfect. Notice she's getting the complete range of motion, lowering the dumbbell slowly, keeping her abs tight, her back pressed flat against the bench, and exhaling as she presses the weight straight up to that blue Bahama sky. Good. Can you get five more? Yeah, five more. I want you to train hard today. Four, good, three. And if you need a spot, I'm right here at the elbows. Two, and one. Good set. Okay, thanks. Okay, now we are supersetting them, which means you're doing one set immediately into the next. So our next exercise is for the back. Let me get that, got that? Here. Huh? Well, thank you. <laughs> See how this helps to have someone here to train with? Okay, this is the bent over row for the back. Perfect form, Lisa. Not only is it getting your back, but it's also strengthening the rear delts. If she needs a spot, I can help her right here. Good. And she's going, you know right, and you're going nice and slowly, which is perfect. Holding it for just a beat, right at the abs. Good. Perfect form. And what's nice about these exercises is that you can do them right in the convenience of your own home. Yeah, that's true, Kiana. Especially with me, I travel so much, so it's great to just 
throw a few small dumbbells in the bag. That way I'm not completely missing out of my workouts. And it's not just limited to weight training either. You can put jogging shoes and go jogging or run the stairs at the local high school. Play a little tennis, go for a walk. Sit-ups, push-ups, dips. <laughs> it goes on and on. <laughs> okay. okay. Two more. Good. Okay, you ready for your set? I'm ready. Okay. I think I'll do the Let's 20s. Start off with the 20s. Okay, the 20s for you. Thank you. Now, do you train at home, Lisa? You know what? I do train at home. I have a whole full set of dumbbells at home that I train with. And then usually what I'll do is bring tension bands with me when I travel and the small dumbbells. I know it's hard to throw, you know, heavy 10-pound dumbbells in your luggage, but what I'll do is just throw the five pounds in. That way I'm still doing something, still getting the workout in, because it's important, especially when you're gone for two or three weeks at a time, you can completely avoid not working out. Okay, I'll get five more. Five more. Notice her form's perfect, her chin's wide open. Full range of motion. And if you're gonna spot, spot right underneath the elbows. Perfect form. Move on to the bed over rows. I like using an underhand grip. Back flat and up. You can also call this workout a push-pull routine. The bench press is the pushing movement. The rowing is the pulling. Feels, feels excellent. Notice how she's training. pausing, as she's bringing it all the way in her stomach. I like training two opposing muscle groups at once. You get a better pump, and I think you get a better workout. It's faster. Yeah, you do, definitely. Okay, you want to hop down? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with the 15s again. Here you go. Here you go, ma'am. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, but 15 and 20. It helps to get the same weight. <laughs> Got it? You know, I find that what really helps with the chest workouts also is that I make sure that I go through a complete stretching routine before I work out the chest as well as after. That's a good I think point. That's really important. That's a good point. When you're training at home, make sure to do your stretches and also do a little warm up. Maybe you have a, um, a bicycle or you can go for a walk. You know, what I like to do when I'm training chest is to have a rowing machine at home. And that way I go ahead and just warm up with the rowing machine and do my stretching and then get into the chest workout. That's good. So the basic idea is to find out what works best for you. The bench press is a terrific basic overall chest exercise. The only equipment you need is a flat bench and free weights. Bent over barbell rows increase muscularity to the back. It's easy to do in the comfort of your own home with my Kiana Fitness Equipment or Basic Barbell Set. There's more Flex Appeal coming your way right after this. Stay in shape and have fun. Become a member of my fitness club. Send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address on the screen and we'll tell you how to join. Service! Tennis is my favorite sport. Hitting ground strokes is an excellent way to work on your legs and your arms. Whether you're hitting a forehand, a backhand, or volleys, it's fun because you're outdoors, getting some sunshine while you're playing on the courts. So whether you're playing singles, doubles, or hitting the ball machine, play a set of tennis. It's a great way to get a cardiovascular workout in and work up a sweat. Tennis is excellent for your obliques, your lats, and your chest. Service.
Tennis improves timing, hand-eye coordination, and flexibility. After a few sets of tennis, do a few sets of calf raises to give you faster footwork at the baseline. Hit a harder ground stroke with strong triceps and pass them at the net every time. Hey, check out the next Kiana's Flex Appeal. We're getting an entire upper body workout in our target training segment, starting with one arm rows. Excellent for the back muscles and for your shoulders. Remember to exhale as you exert, as you raise the weight up, breathe out. Good. Five more. Four, keep the abs tight. Three. Kiana's Flex Appeal was filmed at Super Club's Breezes Bahamas where everything you can eat, drink, and do is included in one price.